right in the studio. This is the latest on my discast. I'm going to tell you about... So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest stuff. What's up, I'm JR. You're chilling all right. Let's get started. Live from Jerome Harden Studios. This is the latest on my update that I'm willing to tell you about. So as you sit back, relax, chillax, and I'll tell you the latest. Hello, my name is Jerome J. Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. So this topic we're going to talk about um, right now is um, we're going to be talking about on why our American retail stores going to be operating 24 seven again. So um, the reason that we need to talk about this because I recently just read an article and I promise it's going probably going to be a very short video, probably the shortest that you will ever watch out of this entire um, channel on YouTube. So um, why I came across uh, lately is uh, I read a uh, post about Walmart being 24 seven again. Well, um, if you're hoping that uh, Walmart is going to operate their super centers on uh, 24 hours a day, um, well, the bad news is that um, you won't be able to get groceries late at night anytime soon or ever again because I just read um, an article that says um, if you're planning to shop for groceries late at night or as late as 3 a.m., you might as well forget it because they're not opening their doors um, anytime soon. Even though the COVID restrictions have eased up a little bit or whatnot, or the COVID cases, it wasn't that serious as it was a year ago or two. Um, still, Walmart is still operating from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. at most stores, some of them at 12 a.m. So um, if you're hoping that when you get off work or you have work on certain days or you won't be able to shop for groceries um you won't be able to do that uh anytime soon until further no but no until further further notice of course um so what you're hoping right now is what i'm hoping is that um it'll be 24 7 again but here's the cons about it you know when Walmart used to be 24-7 operating its doors, operating their stores, um, you know, there used to be robberies, there used to be suspicious activity going on, all that stuff. And the pros of it is that there's nobody there at Walmart. You get to shop quietly. You don't hear anybody complaining. You don't have a lot of traffic, you know. And as for me, I hate being around a lot of people because I get very nervous. I have nervous breakdowns. I have panic attacks of some whatnot. I mean, while I was around people, sometimes I don't have panic attacks. I'm not very nervous, but you know, sometimes I do. But it's very convenient, you know, when they open their doors on late at night. You can get whatever you want, whatever you need, without people complaining, without having the urge to cut somebody out, get into you know altercations, get into brawls or whatever. Not, I mean, it's perfect. It's perfect when you know you're shopping alone, nobody's there, you know, get what you ever you need to get and just get out of there. So, um, yeah, so that's the cons uh, about that. But you know, when I first read on that article, I was very disappointed. I was very upset. You know, I was very annoyed because you know, even though the COVID uh, restrictions has eased up, you know, Walmart is still stuck to that policy that it has to operate up until 11 p.m. or 12 a.m. So. I'm not understanding why they would ease up their restrictions as well. And I noticed that some small convenience stores has done restrictions as well because of COVID, you know, closing their door early as 10 p.m., 11 a.m. They used to be 24 7 too. Um, and then I read another article about Dollar General doing going 24 7. Well, do you think it's risky? Do you think it's worth it? Because I read or heard a lot of bad things about Dollar General complained that they had to work long hours, they're alone in the store, they had no help, people quitting, you know, people stealing stuff, people uh quitting all over, leaving the hire manager, leaving the manager all alone, doing all this work, you know, it gets very tiring, little to no pay, um, and they're overworked with little to no pay. So 
What does that tell you? Should they operate 24-7? Um, I think not because it's just a hoax. It's just rumor that, you know, I highly doubt they're going to operate 24-7 in the near future. But about Walmart, uh, I just uh, letting y'all know right now, I'm just giving out the facts. I couldn't tell you anything right off the bat if they're going to be 24-7 ever again. But let's just hope. Let's just wait. Let's just, you know, um, see what happens from here and, you know, We'll go from there and just don't panic. Just don't be upset. Just don't um, feel like that you'll have to be shopping with the rest of these people. Even though you have nervous breakdowns, you hate being in public, you hate being around a lot of people. That's very unfortunate for all of us. That's fortunate for people like us that, you know, have these kinds of problems. But as a society, I mean, I feel like they are just wanting us to feel uncomfortable, feel like we're, um, as Americans, that, you know, we don't have the rights anymore to do whatever we want. I mean, we just act like we're in a communist country. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's what I want to talk about today. Um, and I told you guys it's going to be a very short video. So, um, I, that's what my thoughts are on Walmart and all these other stores that are going to be reducing their hours or causing inconveniences, you know, not going 24-7 ever again, but it's just my opinion, you know, like I said, let's just wait, let's just see what happens from here, maybe they'll be 24-7 again, but if anything else happens, if I see anything else, or if I see this come up again, I'll definitely let you guys know on the 411, alright, so just be patient, let's just pray that, you know, that this, that this doesn't happen, okay? So, um, that's what I want to talk about today. And I hope you enjoyed this short newscast. Tune in for another newscast, and I'll see you next time. But again, until next time, I'm j Dog. I mean, I'm Jerome Harden, founder and graphic designer of Jerome Harden Studios. I'm out. Peace.